Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to talk about the um, 1.9 TDI pistons, what I do to them, how do I machine them, and how to clean all these surfaces as well. Uh, so on the pistons, I normally open it, the portholes on the piston, some, piston, uh, some people call combustion chambers, some people call the piston holes, some, piece, some people call um, potholes. So um, if you see these marks here, I have five marks I believe, yeah, another one on this end here, and there's another one here. That's where the fuel spray, the, spew, the fuel spray into this hole, and when the combustion comes, they will burn the fuel. So what happened, the fuel gets hit on these corners. Fuel gets hot and starts to melt the piston. So that's one of the reasons I always machine the piston here on this edge here. I think they normally 38 mil and I open them for 42 mil. So it's a, it's a bit of difference. And I think if you open this, I think make the piston lasts longer because not so much heat on the edge. You see the edge is not that thick. So if you see, look all the marks, that's where the, the, the injector sprays the fuel on. They're supposed to spray the fuel right in the middle and they they normally just goes on the side. But on the standard engine, it doesn't really matter. The piston will last forever. But when you have like uh, race injectors, more boost and all of that, the pistons eventually they will start to melt, you know, and then depend on how much fuel you have, the boost you have, the timing on the fuel, all that is really important. But I think you have less chance when you open the, the piston up. I've been, I did a few already, even on my race car, I have this open up. So, and I never have a problem with it. I have one piston melt in the beginning. Uh, they melt on this edge, that's where is the, um, the injector sprays. But after that, after I start to open the, the bore and the piece, not the bore, the, the spot hole or combustion chamber or whatever you want to call, I never more have that problem. So, um, I'm going to do on this block, I'm going to show you how to do it and how to clean this and we go from there so okay uh, our normally do I put on the block surface just go with some wg40 all over the block so you, just to make the sandpaper last a bit longer and use sandpaper and uh, block, sandpaper block or whatever they call it anyway. I just put the sandpaper through because you don't want to be sanding on only one way. If you go with the block just up and down, up and down, will make your job easier. You go like this. You go like this. All over. will clean much better with WG40. You try to go with the sun, with dry sandpaper, oh, much difficult. So. Anyway, you have to take the guides as well. If you take the guides, it will be easier to, to sand the block as well. Let's clean and see what it looks like. But I believe I have to clean again to Sunday again because I didn't need much. But yeah, it's much better than was, but I still needs to all this dark this dark surface here 
have to disappear. And I believe this happens when the head gasket was blown or have a head lift on, on the bolts because the bolts normally stretch on these engines as well. And you need to clean all this dust afterwards with a compressor, air compressor, because you don't want to leave this like that. So yeah, I'm going to do this and I'll go to the next step. So it's all clean now. So normally one night, what I tend to do, so aluminum can't fall in the, in the holes inside the cylinder block. I just put some tape over to cover the hole. And you have to make sure you clean this surface properly, otherwise the tape won't go on. So normally I just do like this. Just left the, the middle of the piston open but some people are gonna say this is not the right way to do and it's not the right way to do is take the piston out send to people have a CNC machine and do them because the job will be much cleaner and all of that but no everybody have the money to do because when you take the piston off you have to replace the piston rings you can't just put the piston, the, the piston with all piston rings. You have to replace the piston rings. So I've been doing like this because nobody wants to spend too much money on, on these engines. Oh, well, some people doesn't mind to spend the money, but you know, if I'm the person to do this as well, it's a bit tricky. Normally, I have to send them over to Portugal, so they can do up there. So um, that's why I, I bought this tool so I can do this myself because it's cheaper and it's easier. You don't have to take the sum, take the con rods and then clean the pistons and all of that. Yeah, so I bought this tool. This tool I'll show you here. So this edge here just center right in the middle of the piston. So it can't be escaping to the sides or either this side. So it needs to go straight in, straight down. And then I use this sandpaper thing to to go on the on the board, on the side of the the thing. So I'm gonna take you through, I'm gonna show you how to do so. It's all covered up, don't gonna be mess going down to the block, so let's do it. And I really apologize if this, my English is not the best, but I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing, what how how I do it. So I hope hopefully you guys appreciate I'm trying to help him. So let's do this. All the way yet. Stick is all the way now, like you guys can see. So you see all this dust, this can't go inside of the um, cylinder block, otherwise, we'll go through the your oil pump and you end up with damaged oil pump. Um, so 
uh, much bigger than it was and I can show you on this because I didn't cover this because I'm gonna drill this one on the end here so I think you you be able to see it's a huge difference between them it's a really huge difference so and I mean this will increase the power as well because you know more fuel more air and you of course you're gonna get more power so um, the hole is done so I need to grab some paper and have this go around here to the edge Go to the side just to make it smoother, like the, the standard one. This so, camera will fall in there. If you look at it close, and it's good. For me, for me, it's good. And by the way, you know, okay, with a CNC machine, you probably get perfect, 100% perfect. But again, the cost, the, the problem will be the cost. Because time you're stripping all the block down and everything, you're looking to spend a bit of money. If you guys are doing this, just be careful. Don't damage the injector on the middle here. Don't damage this because you can end up with a to have to replace the piston. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna do all, all the other ones as well. I'm not gonna take you through because it's gonna take me a while to do. So, um, hopefully, you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, just like it and subscribe it. Thanks for watching.